Now let's take a look at problem number 12, find the inverse of the function. Let's first refresh our memory on the steps for finding the inverse. Finding inverse of a function. I'm going to have a note up here. Note, uh, the function must be 1 to 1. If it's not 1 to 1, you shouldn't even f try to find the inverse. Step 1, replace f of x with y. Step 2, interchange x and y. Swap the x's and y's. Uh, step 3, solve for y. Step 4, replace y with our inverse notation. I don't know why, but when I'm creating these movies, uh, sometimes my highlighting capability goes away. Like I'm holding down my left mouse button and trying to highlight that, and it won't let me. I'm not sure you want to hear all my problems. Uh, step five. If necessary, uh, make the inverse function one-to-one -one by looking at the graph and... Um, making the appropriate changes. And that's really uh, vague. I'm having to highlight that by holding down my shift key and don't move my arrow keys. Okay, so let's use those to uh, find the inverse of this problem. So number 12. got f of x is equal to x plus 3 to the third power minus 3. Step 1. Replace f of x with y. So put y in for the f of x. Step 2. Interchange x and y. So where the y is we put an x and where the x is we put a y. Step three, solve for y. Well, first thing I'm going to do is take that negative three over the left side. Our goal is to get y by itself. And that becomes x plus three. Now, I'm going to show all the steps here. Some of you already know the kind of shortcut on this and so forth. But um, I'm going to write the three as three over one. Put it in fraction form. And we have the power principle that says we can raise both sides to a power. And if I raise both sides to the reciprocal of this power, then uh, I'll get rid of the, the 3 over here. So I'm going to take both sides to the 1 over 3 power. Like that. And when I do that, these 3 is going to cancel. And x plus 3 to the 1 third is the same as the cube root of x plus 3. Whatever number's in your denominator of your power, uh, that's your index. That's what goes in a slot here. And then whatever number's on top is your power of all this, which is just the first power. And then on the right side, we got y plus 3. Now I'm solving for y, so I'll take negative 3 over, and I got negative 3 plus the cube root of x plus 3. Step four, replace your y with your inverse notation. So we got negative three plus the cube root of x plus three. And then I might have put the negative three after that. Now this is already one to one, so we don't have to do step five, and that would be our answer. Now let's see, uh, okay, I did put negative three at the end. Looks like b is in bill. Go double check that, and then I'll, I'll mention something about this problem. So 12b, and that checks. Okay. Now over here, when we uh, raise both sides to a power equal to the reciprocal of uh, the powers there, and of course, if reciprocal means fraction flip, that's why I put this in fraction form. Three over one, the reciprocal of it is one over three. If your number on top here is even, remember you put a plus or minus on the other side. If the number is odd, then there is no plus or minus. So 
just uh, for future problems, like if I had a fourth power there or a sixth power, um, so you'd know how to handle it.